Salawam, Salawam. I want to start off by giving all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son through the name of the Holy Spirit. It's called Halayim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Give up honor to the apostles and elders who rule well, and peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man pushing his faith and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. This is Brother Yitzhakah coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. All praises and honor due. And I want to entitle this lesson, um, It Ain't what it's cracked up to be or you ain't missing nothing you know probably uh you know put both of those on there as the title you know um you ain't missing nothing and it's and it ain't what it's cracked up to be speaking on uh you know aspiring to have goods in this world you know or aspiring to be uh something within this world or aspiring you know to to you know desiring to have things that's uh uh, outside of a uh, servitude unto Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, you know, it's uh, it's not all what it's cracked up to be. You know, when you look at, uh, you know the the the, the conversation of the uh, wicked, you know, what I'm saying you look at the conversation of the uh, of evil doers and sinners, you know, what I'm saying you can see uh, prosperity within uh, you know, through, throughout their act actions, you know, what I'm saying you can see uh, things that you may desire to do within the flesh, you know, but Doing those things, it ain't all what it's cracked up to be, man. Getting high, you know, smoking blunts, you know, just uh, you know, um, just using a couple examples like smoking weed, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, you might want to do it, you know what I'm saying? You might feel like you could justify it, you know what I'm saying? Do but this that's not, that's just not, it's not it, man. What you gonna do? Just get high, you know what I'm saying? Get a good feeling, you know what I'm saying? That that feeling ain't all what it's cracked up to be. You got to spend money on it, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you know, you. you you know, smell like it, you know what I'm saying? Spend your time on it, you know. Um, you know, even switch, uh go go into uh alternate moods outside of the uh, sobriety of your howl by Yahweh you know, cigarettes. You might want to smoke cigarettes, they don't do that's destroying your body. You know, that's you know, doing a lot more harm to you than good. You know, you might want to eat certain type of things, you know what I'm saying? Though those, those things, you know, really destroy you. You know what I'm saying? You might desire to have, you know, different type of women. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and have fun with them and enjoy them and do different type of things. But that comes with all different type of hassles and times as well. You know, like uh, you might want more possessions. Well, you got to maintain these different possessions. You might want a bigger house. You know what I'm saying? That's more money and more slaving and more you got to commit into, uh, you know, this, this current world and this current society. So, you know, the things that you may, you know, be missing out on and, you know, desiring to... You know, partake in, you know, these things are not even uh really nothing, man. You know, we ain't we ain't missing out on nothing, man. You know, and uh everything, you know, the prosperity, the prosperity that that comes from this current life is not hitting on nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? We it, it ain't what it's cracked up to be, man. You know, uh a lot of these a, a lot of these people who have different possessions and different things going on, different abundance, you know, going forth, they still miserable, man. You know what I'm saying? Um so I'm gonna just start right here. This uh Psalms, so like yeah. This Psalms chapter 39 and verse 5. So like yeah. This Psalm chapter 39 and verse 5. It says, Behold, thou hast made my days as an head breath, and mine age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Yeah, so it says, Behold that. Thou has made my days as hand bread of. Let's see what it is. Hand bread of. That's to fuck. And that's a span, width of hand, hand bread of, a unit of measurement, measurement of lift. Um, architecturally, like, like the spread of a hand. So this is what our life is like. Uh. <laughs> like the spread of our hand, man. That's the length. You know, that's 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 how you know our life is. You know, life is just like you opening up your hand and closing it, man. You know, that's 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 what that's what our days are as. You know, it says, "Behold, thou hast made my days as hand and hand bread of, and mine age is as nothing before thee." You know what I'm saying? Because you know what it said you in uh in Sirach the 18th chapter about how man's days at the most are a hundred years, man. You know what I'm saying? So 100 years, that ain't nothing, you know, with 
to the power of Yahweh Hashem Yashan, the time uh, periods of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know, he on a whole different time frame than us. You know, that's uh, that's 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 nothing, man. So we could be up in age, you know, and done lived and did certain type of things throughout our years, but that's nothing before Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know. It says, verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. So it says, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. So you could put every man all together. You know what I'm saying? You put all every man at their best state all together, man. Name the best man you can name. You know, that's living the best prosperous life that you would want to live. You know, um, all these rappers, all these different uh, musicians, all these different... Uh, so to speak, celebrities and, and uh, all these different businessmen, all these different uh, corporate men, you know, all these different rich men, like the scriptures speak of. You you can add all them together. You can add all the prosperity of them together and put it in one. And that's still altogether vanity, man. It's still useless, man. It's not profitable. You know what I'm saying? So even at your absolute best state, you know, <laughs> It, it's still it's still you you you, you it's still like nothing man and that and that and that includes and that, and that and that's every single man together make a big transformer of a person man they're still lighter than vanity man you know <laughs> so that's 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 why we're not missing nothing uh we're not really missing out on nothing man life ain't this current life in this current world ain't what it's cracked up to be man you know what i'm saying like there's no reason for us to even uh you know dive back into the works of darkness or you know be considering the works of darkness because it's not even uh it's nothing man it's useless man you know like with us understanding this knowledge man it's like man certain things are supposed to be it, it don't supposed to hold value like it once did to us no more man you know we weren't really supposed to see the value in uh a lot of this garbage you know in this current world man you know we you know we're not supposed to uh you know, we're not supposed to give in to the flesh. You know, that's a part of not giving in to the flesh, not giving in to, uh, you know, our less, man. You know, but restraining ourselves, being temperate, you know, being uh, uh, moderate, you know, not being excessive, you know, not uh, being unclean. Because eventually when you start to dive too much into uh, certain type of things, you become unclean before Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shab, man, because you're being too excessive. You're, you're not giving him... You're not giving him you're not you're not committing yourself wholly unto him, you know, and that's and that's when it becomes a problem. That's when you become unclean, you know, so that's why uh, ultimately, you know, with us having this knowledge, we have to take it in and continue to sow uh, into the knowledge that we have and become better spiritual men, you know, continue to add on to the new men that we have become, Lord willing, you know, and uh, continue to focus on that and not. Uh, you know, entangle ourselves with the affairs of this world, you know. Matter of fact, let me get that one real quick. I think it's sick of Timothy two. Let's see. Yep. This uh start at four. This second Timothy chapter two verse four says, No man that worth entangle himself with the affairs of this life. Yeah, no man that worth. We're at war. You know, it tells you about it in uh, Ephesians the sixth chapter. About how we're up against spiritual wickedness in high places, against principality, principalities, you know, uh, against uh, uh, the adversary, you know, up, up, up against uh, high level enemies, you know, up against high level uh, evil spirits. We're, we're we're at war with them, you know. We're striving for the masteries, man, you know. So if if we're at war to try to conquer over these evil spirits and these uh, evil lusts. Okay, we can't entangle ourselves with the affairs of this life, man. Which the affairs of this life is, um, it goes hand in hand with these evil spirits, man. You know, these evil spirits, you know, they uh, they feed off the affairs of this life. Matter of fact, let's get that word affairs. Affairs. Prosecution of any fair business, uh, occupation. You know, so whatever you're occupied in, man, you know, anything that you could be occupied in that's in, in, in this life, that's a fair, you know, matter of fact, let's, uh, let's see if we can, uh, Salakia. 
<laughs> Affairs. Let's see, uh. Mm-hmm. Here go a good one. A matter that is a particular person's concern or responsibility, you know, which the 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 the, the particular concern and responsibilities of, of, of this life is uh pretty much complete foolishness, man. You know what I'm saying? Complete evil and wickedness, man. C complete completely fleshly, man. You know? That's that's what the the matters and responsibilities of of this life is, man. You know, uh working a job, getting money. You know, uh, getting new clothing, getting new food, getting new, uh, you know, new new possessions and abundance, man. You know, uh, uh, living it up, enjoying yourself with these different type of, uh, you know, with different type of uh, pleasures. You know, that's what the affairs of this life is, is based upon, you know. But no man that wharf with these, uh, you know, with, with whom we're warring with, you know, which is these these spiritual wickedness. You know, these different principalities, these different dominions, you know, these different powers on the left hand side. No man that wars with these uh, with, with the left hand side is going to entangle himself with the affairs of this world because the left hand side deals with this life. There's this this is their life. You know, this is the life in where evil spirits has much glory that doth abide. You know, it says no man that war entangle himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have who have chosen him to be a soldier and that's what it's all about we have to please him who has chosen us to be a soldier you know let's get that word soldier who chose us to be a soldier our lord yahweh shah mashiach you know we're, we're we're battling and standing up for the name strong's of g 4758 our lord stratalageo Let's see. We won't really get much for that. Let's go. Uh, let's see what we get on Google. Salakia. Soldier. Soldier is a. Uh, it says a. Uh, a fighter, a serviceman, a warrior, an enlisted man, a man at arms, you know. So we supposed to be holding our post. It's always oh, it says the plow on. Down on it, another one says carry on, dogly persevere, you know. So you how about Yao Shai, you know. Uh, has chosen us to be soldiers. It's chosen us to be fighters and servicemen. You know, we're not fighters uh, carnally. You know, we don't fight. The, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, you know. So how, how do we fight? You know, we don't we don't fight fire with fire, okay? We don't, we don't, uh, supposed to be getting attacked by spirits and then so into this life to, you know, uh, battle these spirits. That's what the, the, the spirits that we're battling against want us to do. That's a trap and a snare of the opposition that we're fighting against to, to, that, that, that they want us to be trapped up in, man. You know, that they want us to be trapped up in. You know, so we have to, you know, watch out for that, you know, and uh, ultimately try to separate ourselves from the affairs of this life and the occupations and, and, and businesses and responsibilities of this life. Um, as much as we can, you know, of course, we got to work, we got to, you know, take care of our, you know, uh, households, take care of our families, you know what I'm saying? But ultimately, we shouldn't be uh, diving deeper than uh, what, you know, is necessary, you know, of course, you might want to have a little fun, do your little thing. But at the same time, you know, we can't be sowing too much to that. We can't be looking to escape uh, this world and these evil spirits that we're faced with through, you know, uh, the fun we want to have, man. You know, that's not really how we do it, man. We got to continue to battle, um, to continue to battle um, within the uh, confines of, of, of what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh told us to do, which is to suffer, you know. Matter of fact, let's get First Peter 4 and 1. Let's get that one real quick. Because we say well, that we may please him that chose us to be a soldier. So this is how we please him who has chosen us to be a soldier by uh, ultimately uh, just bearing uh, different infirmities, bearing uh, going without, you know what I'm saying, uh, 
continuing in moderation and considering continuing in temperance, you know, just continuing to uh, go without the things that you want. You know, that's how you please um, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. We can't really please uh, our Lord Yahweh Shah or the Heavenly Father Yahweh by, you know, uh, giving ourselves to the affairs of this life. They're not they're not pleased with that. You know, like, OK, it might be cool. You might not necessarily be going off. But the Heavenly Father was only begotten Son. They're not pleased with you just, uh, you know, diving into the affairs of this life. You know, especially if you're if you're going off, like if you're doing something that's unlawful, you know what I'm saying? The Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son definitely are not pleased with that, especially if we come under the banner of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, so this is, this is something that we got to keep in mind. Like, <laughs> even if you're not going off or if you are going off, you know, like you still you 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 need to be focused on uh the affairs that pertain unto everlasting life not the, uh, the affairs that pertain unto this current life you know we shouldn't even be worried about that pondering on that you know this uh and I speak for myself first and foremost you know this uh first first peter chapter 4 verse 1 it says for as much then as a mashiach have suffered for us in the flesh. So he suffered for us in the flesh. How did he suffer for us in the flesh? Because he didn't entangle himself with the affairs of his life. You know, he was fighting. He was fighting the good fight of faith. You know, it says, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. So we have to have, have that same mind that our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach had, you know, by uh, separating himself from the affairs of this life. You know, it says, for he that have suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. You know, so that's how we, that's how we uh, conquer death. That's how we conquer. Uh, that's how we get the ultimate reward. You know, that's how we get the ultimate benefit. You know, is by uh, conquering the flesh, you know, ceasing from sin. You know, that's how we get, you know, the things that we desire. You know, like it tells you in uh, Psalms, uh, the 37 chapter about uh, committing thy works unto the Lord. And, and, and then, uh, you know, uh, he will give you the desires of thine heart. You know, so that's what comes first, you know. Uh, our desires don't come first or, you know, what we want doesn't come first. You know, what Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah wants, that's what comes first. And even if, if we have to suffer to, you know, uh, ultimately try to give Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah what he wants, this is, this is, this is what's uh, necessary for us uh, ultimately uh, to, 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 to get to the point where we get the things that we're desiring, you know, Lord willing, you know. So this is something that we always have to, you know, keep in our minds. This uh, Psalms. This Psalms chapter 62. In verse 9. It says, surely men of low degree are vanity. <laughs> and men of high degree are a lie. So you could be a, a man of low degree. You're useless. You could be a man of a high degree and you're a lie. Okay. It says to be laid in the balance. They are all together light, lighter than vanity. So you can get that man of high degree and man of low degree. You know, you can weigh them together in, in the balance. You know, they're going to be all together lighter than uh, vanity. OK, <laughs> lighter than vanity. <laughs> so once again, you could add no, no, no matter what level you're on or if you add all the people that's on high levels and low levels together is still less than vanity man lighter than vanity man that's how useless uh the affairs of this current life is man that's how useless this world is that's how useless um feeding into the flesh is it's, it's lighter than vanity you know so that's why you know we shouldn't even be concerned with matters that don't concern us the only matters that really concern us is how we're going to attain salvation and what we need to be doing to get it you know it says trust not in oppression which this world is completely oppressive and our number one oppressive, uh, the, the number one thing that we're oppressed with within this world is our flesh, man. You know, being in these bodies, man, being subject unto sin, you know, being subject unto the law of our members. You know what I'm saying? Us having to combat and fight our own selves, man. You know, us, us uh, being in these chains of darkness, man. You know, us uh, being, being, being subject to sin, you know. That's that's um uh, that's oppressive. And we can't trust in oppression. We can't trust in things that are oppressive unto us. Like fleshly things, fleshly benefits, fleshly desires, that's that's oppressive. You know, that's what oppresses us and keeps us down because uh we're supposed to keep trust in, in, in the spirit, not trust in the flesh, you know. We're not supposed to trust in these chains of darkness, man, because these bodies, 
you know, tell you all flesh wax of old is a garment, man. You know, uh, all these things of this world are temporal, you know, so we're not supposed to trust in oppression, you know. It says, and become not vain in robbery, and become not vain in robbery, which, you know, this uh, land was, uh, you know, that, that we're actually living on was taken through robbery, you know, and ultimately, uh, uh, matter of fact, let's get this word robbery. And um, this 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 is not uh, how the world is supposed to be, Lord willing. You know, the, 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 the truth has been changed, <laughs> you know, thing taken away by violence, you know, by injustices, man, you know, which, you know, the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah has been taken away, you know, by injustice, you know, by violence, man, you know, and that's, uh, you know, by riches, uh, you know, by uh, unrighteous dealings. You know, and riches gotten by deceit, you know, this deceitful getting of riches, man. You know, we're not supposed to uh, trust in this current system of how things are set up, man. We're not supposed to be uh, into this, man. You know, all this stuff is really defiled, man. Scripture tell us not to touch the unclean thing, man. You know, we got to be separate. We got to set ourselves apart from this world and this life and the possessions thereof, man. You know, it's not for us, man. <laughs> you know, regardless, like I can just have a testimony for myself, just me. I've been pulling a lot of nice women, you know what I'm saying, lately. A lot of nice women, nice, sexy women. But Yahweh Shemashah has not been allowing me to, like, seal the deal with it, you know. Why? Because he don't want me sent upon my heart, my heart upon things that are vain, you know what I'm saying, and things that was gotten by violence, man, you know, by injustice, man. These women, you know, and the power and the positioning that they're in, you know, and the, and the way they carried themselves, that that was set up through robbery, man. That was set up through injustices. That was set up through the world being changed from how it was supposed to be to what it is now, you know. It says, trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them and set not your heart upon them. Set not your mind apart upon riches. So if you do start to get a little bit of paper and you do start to get a little bit of different possessions, we weren't supposed to put our mind to that, man. We weren't supposed to be like, oh, okay, what, what can I do with this paper to get some more paper? You know what I'm saying? Which is nothing wrong with, you know, handling your affairs and getting business done. But this is not what we're supposed to be focused on, man. You know, even if this is happening, this is supposed to be like, oh, okay, something that we got, you know, this just a, this just, this just here, you know what I'm saying? This is just how Yahweh want me to be right now, but I'm going to just make the most of it and I'm going to chill with it. I ain't just finna just start living profligate where I'm just finna be like, oh, okay, I'm just buy whatever I want to buy. I'm going to live however I want to live. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do what I want to do and I'm going to just get some more. And that's what it's about. And this is like, this is like fulfilling me, you know, that's when it comes a problem. Like this is like your you're 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 like oh, okay this is like this is your perks like our perks is supposed to be you know our servitude unto Yahweh by Shem Yahusha making him happy man you know so that's why we want to set our heart upon our riches if they increase man you know that's not that that's not uh, something so great for us man you know it's really ain't nothing you know because even if you get to the best state of riches you're still lighter than vanity you know. Even with everybody else together. So that's why we're not supposed to, you know, uh, be focused on these things so much. And it's hard, you know what I'm saying? Because Jake, you know, every Jake different. But, you know, for the most part, Jakes, we like nice things, man. We like we like nice clothes. You know what I'm saying? We like nice women. You know, we like nice cars. We like nice house. We like to smell good. You know what I'm saying? We like different things. You know what I'm saying? It's like it catches our attention. And that's how we, and what we like, you know? But Yahweh Shema is trying to show us a, a bigger picture, man. Don't focus on these things, man. Focus on me, man. Focus on me. You will have all those things if you just focus on doing what I'm pleased with. Focused on walking how I would want you to be walking, man. You know, ponder upon what I want and, and what I desire rather than pondering and spending your time on all these other, other things, man. You know, because I'm going to give you all the other things that you, 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 you want. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just focus on me, man. And, 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 and ultimately um, and be happy with it too, you know, because we don't even deserve an opportunity to serve you. How about Shem? Yahweh Shah. That's what we got to keep in mind, man. We don't deserve this opportunity, man. We're supposed to be put to death, man. So the per our perks and the number one thing we're supposed to be setting our mind to is, uh, you know, servicing you. How about Shem? Yahweh Shah and being happy with it, you know. This uh, Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 4. It says, take a heed every one of his neighbor and trust ye not in any brother. For every brother 
every so like your for every brother will utterly supplant and every neighbor will walk with slanders yeah so you know this is a, a cold world like they say man you know and even close friends and family will trade on you man you know what i'm saying so you're you know desiring you know a, a, a multitude of unprofitable children for example man you know what i'm saying like you 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 want to add unto your children and have a big you know family and you know have more stuff going on you know what i'm saying you want multiple wives and you know a big you know you want you a big uh nice uh a nice uh living going forth you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day man you got to take heed to these people man you know these people man these people are cold and merciless out here man you know not saying this is how everyone is man but for the most part this is a cold world man you know and every brother will utterly supplant you man you know even family members will uh, supplant you you know so this is something you got to watch out for man you know, you can't just be all comfortable in this world desiring, you know, make new friends and, you know, have new people, have new women, have new family. You know what I'm saying? Well, ultimately, all the all these people supplant you, man, and do you dirty, man. You know, <laughs> and no, no matter what kind of level you're on, man. You know, so really, you know, having a whole bunch of friends, having a whole bunch of women, having a big extensive family, you know what I'm saying? Enjoying them like you like you can on this side. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, I mean, well, to the to the best of your abilities on this side, that's not even nothing either, man. That's not nothing. That's not all what it's cracked up to be. You ain't missing nothing by not having, you know, uh, all these women, you know, or having all these children that you could pour into, or having, uh, you know, uh, all these parents you could sit down. You having parents and different, uh, you know, older figures in your family that you could sit down with and eat with and chill with and laugh and giggle and hee hee ha ha man you ain't missing none of that man you know because <laughs> most of these people are walking with slanders man you know tell you about in romans the first chapter about how how uh the majority of these people are man you know who reject the knowledge of yahweh by shem yahweh shot man you know we don't want to be like that man we don't want to be like that man you know yahweh shem yahweh look at us as implacable you know what i'm saying like covenant covenant breakers looks at us as unmerciful it looks at this as reprobates, man. You know, we don't want that, man. You know, to not be looked at as a reprobate or not to be looked at as unmerciful or uh, 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 a straight a straight scumbag is 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 better than to have all these uh different things that these scumbags have, man. You know, let's get this. It's Revelation chapter three and verse eighteen. It says, I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. And it's our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach speaking. That thou mayest be rich, that thou mayest be rich. You know, so you have to buy gold tried in the fire. That's the only way you could be rich. And white raiment, you know, which that right raiment represents that purity, you know, represents that cleanness and that innocence, you know, that uh that unspotted uh uh sacrifice that could be presented unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. It says that thou mayest be clothed, which Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is going to clothe us if he sees that purity in us, you know, if he sees certain qualities within us, you know. It says, and that thy shame do, of thy nakedness do not appear, you know. So that's ultimately Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah uh, granting us with mercy and clemency, you know, from uh, the evil works that we have committed in this life and our past lives, you know. It says... It says, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thine eyes with eye salve that thou mayest see. You know, so you got to anoint thy eyes with eye salve, man. You know, how do you anoint your eyes with eye salve, man? Well, ultimately, that that, that goes into uh, cleansing uh, cleansing uh, yourself, man. You know, which how, how, how can a man cleanse his way? You know, by taking heed unto the... Uh, to the precepts of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, taking heed to the commandments, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, and seeing how they're, and seeing what uh, separates those law, statutes, and commandments from this current world and this current order, you know, and you'll see, you know, how you truly should be walking, you know, separating the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai from the flesh. You, when you, when you, when you do that, you'll see what's uh, acceptable with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know. Uh, speak about in Psalms the seventy third chapter about how you know uh, 
King David said he was a beast and he was ignorant before Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, until he came into that sanctuary, you know, and what's coming into that sanctuary? It's coming into that, that spiritual house, you know, that spiritual house, which is the body of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, which we claim and, you know, uh, claim to be a part of, you know, so in, in, in order, if we're truly in that, then we have to uh, walk and see as Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, what we wanting us to walk and see, you know? And, and the only way we can do that is by cleansing uh, our actions and cleansing our minds through uh, the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, you know, which will never make us unfruitful. That's how we can always see. That's how we can be truly prudent and circumspect, you know, because we're, we're going to examine ourselves and we're going to make sure we're walking as Yahweh Shah would want us to be walking or as, as, or we're doing things that he would be pleased with, you know. Um, so you, we, we have to buy gold of our Lord tried in the fire, man. That, and that gold that was tried in the fire was the sufferings, man. You know, that, 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 uh, seal standard for sure. If you suffer, you're guaranteed you're going to be crowned. You know, if you suffer for your house, have my shock and yours, and, and, and that suffering is accepted by your house, have my shock, you're going to reign with them, you know, and it tells you that. You know, that's why that's that's for sure. That's because Yahweh Shah, he's received his glory. You know, so we're for sure gonna receive glory as well long as we uh long as we uh commit our works unto uh our Lord, you know. We're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna reign as well, man. You know. You know, that's that gold tried in the fire because our Lord suffered, but he didn't suffer for not. He suffered to be crowned, he suffered to put all things under his feet, man. And if we do the same thing, we're gonna be joint heirs with them, you know. And a part of our suffering is 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 is, is missing out on doing certain things in this world, man. You know, missing out on a uh, certain type of desires and less, you know, having to go without certain things that you know we 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 would desire to have or desire to do, you know. This is uh Second Timothy chapter two verse twelve. It says, "If we suffer, we shall also reign with him." Salakia. If we deny him, he will. He also will deny us. So, it's like you. It says, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Okay, but if we deny him, he gonna deny us. And how are we denying him? We're denying him. If 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 we're, we're denying him when we can't uh continue in uh when we don't continue in our faith, we don't when we don't continue within uh our servitude unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. When we uh when we veer off in uh. You know, dive into other things that please us, man. You know what I'm saying? Over, uh, over, uh, you know, laying down our life and just, uh, completely submitting ourselves into servitude unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, we're denying him, man. You know, if we don't want to go through certain things and we don't want to go without certain things, then we're, we're denying Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, we're denying our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man, because he had to go without and he had to do without. He didn't get to do nothing that he wanted to do, man. So we got to keep that in mind, man. You know, not saying that there's nothing wrong with us doing, you know, having, you know, a little something or doing a little something that we want to do. But this is not something that should be frequent for us, man. You know what I'm saying? And this and this is only when uh, uh opportunity is presented. You know, this shouldn't be something that we just chasing. You know, let Yahweh Shah give us a gift, man. You know, but when we when we when we're chasing these things too much, we're ultimately denying our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man, because we're not bearing our cross, we're not bearing the things that we gotta deal with, man. You know, which is the part of what we gotta deal with is is going without and not having, you know, and, and not having much, man. We're the poor of this world, man. You know, we're the poor of this world, man. We want. <laughs> Yeah, how about you, my son? You set us up to be living extravagant, man. Living good, man. Having what we want, getting, man. We we, man. We lucky we ain't dead, man. You know. This First Timothy chapter six verse six, it says, "But godliness with contentment is great gain." So being like Yahweh how about you, yeah, how about being content with that triumphs over everything, man. You know, walking as our Lord Yahweh how about you, did like suffering, you know. And being content with doing that, with having that opportunity to suffer like our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and possibly be accepted by our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that triumphs over everything, man. You know, so that's what, and that's what we're supposed to have in mind. That's what we're supposed to have in mind. You know, we're not missing nothing, man. We're really gaining something by doing what we doing, man. You know, we're growing in the spirit. You know, we're becoming a high level, uh, 
high level uh spiritual beings and within the flesh you know we're becoming uh powerful beings within uh uh within this current world you know we're we're overriding death with life you know we're uh we're defeating we're we're, we're, we're defeating the things that's so strong you know it's so powerful in this world that got so many strongholds on, on, on people man we're defeating it through our actions by not partaking in it by not desiring it so much by you know uh continue to stay stayed upon you how about some y'all shot throughout that man you know that's that's uh that's that's heavy man you know let's uh go here you know to be able to service you how about some y'all shot is a beautiful thing man you know what i'm saying like there's <laughs> really nothing more that we could want than that you know, there's really nothing more we should want than that, man. Of course, it's nat naturally we're going to want box. You know what I'm saying? We're going to want different possessions. We're going to want to have a little fun, you know. But it should never get to a point where, you know, we're like pondering on this more than we're, we're, we're pondering on these things or dedicating more time to these things or, you know, uh, giving a, a substantial amount of time and, 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 and thoughts unto these things over your how about Shem Yal Shah. You know, that's when it, it's like, it's, it's real sick, man. You know, like run into these things. Don't ponder on it and set it up and then, you know, meditate on it and then just be like, okay, this this is all I'm about. This is what I'm doing. You know, meditate upon goodly things. Meditate upon the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Like I said, I'm, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost when I'm doing this lesson, you know. This wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 7. And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues. So if we love righteousness, you know, her labors are virtues, man. You know, it brings forth moral goodness and things that are upright. With Shah Bashem Yahushah. He's dealing with the upright, you know. It says, for she teacheth temperance and prudence. So, you know, if we love righteousness, it's going to teach us um, the, the, the qualities that we need to be able to uh, have that ourselves, like we read about in Revelation, the third chapter, to see certain things. You know, to see, you know, uh, where we're going wrong yet and what we need to improve on and, you know, why we shouldn't go into certain things. You know what I'm saying? And it also teaches us how to restrain ourselves and constrain ourselves and be moderate, man. You know, that's, 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 but we have to love righteousness. We have to love righteousness in order for us to be taught temperance and prudence. You know, because we could say we're about righteousness all day, but we, do we truly love it? If we truly love righteousness, that's what we're going to completely commit ourselves unto, you know? It says, for she teacheth temperance and prudence, justice and fortitude and fortitude, man. You know, being fortified, man, being steadfast, you know, being unmovable, you know. That's that's what the labors of righteousness teach us, you know. It teaches us justice, too. It teaches, uh, teaches us not to be hypocritical or not to be, uh, you know, unbalanced, you know, or not to be unequal, you know. It says, which are such things as man can have nothing more profitable in their life. Yeah, so walking within right, righteousness triumphs over everything. That's why godliness and contentment with contentment is great gain. You know, that's why godliness with contentment is great gain. Because when you're uh, when you're, you're the godly, the godly loves righteousness, man. They, they that's their that's their heart's desire. You know, is to is to live within righteousness, man. You know, and if 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 you're uh, if you're doing that and being content with it, you are getting great gain. You're getting things that's more profitable and there's nothing can be more profitable in life, man. You know, that's why it's, it's key for us to, that's why we're not missing out on nothing. Because this, we, we have the things that are most profitable by loving righteousness and following after Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, you know. It says, uh, Salakia, yeah. yeah, let's, uh, let's go here this ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 11 it says and when you read up in this chapter you know uh this king solomon the uh wisest and richest man to ever live you know and he uh ultimately uh was telling you about all the different positions and and different things that he had within this world you know but check what he say out right here it says then i looked on all the works that my hands had wrought and on the labor that I had labored to do, and behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no profit under the sun. But we just read what is what is profitable, man. We just read it what is profitable, loving righteousness, and the labors that uh, 
and, and, and the labors that it teaches, man, you know, which, you know, come t gives you virtue, man, how to be morally good, man, to have morally goodness, mor moral goodness, you know, how to, you know, be prudent, to foresee certain things and understand certain things that the average can't, you know, to be temperate, to be able to restrain yourself and, and uh, be moderate, you know, uh, regardless of what's going on, you know, it says, I read it one more time. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought and on the labor that I had labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit. And there was no profit under the sun. Yeah. So everything is vanity and vexation of spirit, man. That's what that's what that's what this current world represents, man. Complete uselessness, things that are unprofitable and things that are vexing, man. On top of that, man, really vexes you, man, irks you, man, irritates you, you know, uh, uh, makes you worse, worse off than, um, uh, than, than you was before you got what you was desiring, man. You know, that's really what this this world's bring bring brings forth, man. You know, that's really what this world brings forth. So that's why we're not missing nothing by, you know, pursuing righteousness by you know our servitude unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Let's go here. It's First John chapter two, in verse sixteen. It says, "For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh." And the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So these things, you know, it's, it's, it's really impossible for us to be, uh, to please Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, going after the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the, and, and the, and the, and the, and the pride of life, man. That's not of the Father, man. That's of the world, man. The Lord, the, the, the Heavenly Father not worried about that, man. You know, it says... In this world, in the world, passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah abideth forever. So everything in this world and the lust of this world is going to pass away, man. You know, but those who doing what Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah requires of them, they're going to be, a, they're going to abide forever, man. You know, so all this is an illusion. And really, things is not set up how they was, how it was supposed to be set up, man. So that's why we're not supposed to be going after this stuff, because this stuff is not right, man. This is like, we don't supposed to want half assness, half assness. We supposed to have assness. We supposed to want things whole, holy. We supposed to want the whole shebang, man. You know, we are just supposed to just want, you know, a piece, a piece of the pie, man. That's you know, that's that's our people's problem, man. They just they just satisfied with, you know, uh, just uh, some you know, forty acres in a in a, in a, in, a, in a mule, man. But they really more stay satisfied with less than that, man. You know, we got to be uh. We we gotta uh want better for ourselves, man. You know, we gotta want better for ourselves, man, than the lust of this world, man. Yahweh Hashem is not concerned with that, man. The better for ourselves is what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is concerned with, man. You know, that's 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 us wanting better for ourselves. You know, pursuing that, you know, desiring that, pondering upon that, wondering that, you know, pondering upon and and, and, and thinking upon serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah and giving him what he want. You know. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. So this place is not our rest, man. We're not here to, you know, have fun, get women, get positions, do whatever the hell we want to do, man. We're actually in hardcore captivity, man. You know? Then on top of that, man, we don't even... Bro, even though we, we understand this knowledge, we don't know what our end is going to be, man. Okay? We don't know what our end is going to be. You know? Lord willing, we make it, but we really don't know what the hell... <laughs> What's finna partake us, man? Or what we finna undertake, man? We supposed to be worried about that, man. You know? This this not our damn rest, man. You know? It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. So this place will destroy you, man. You know? It'll really do more harm to you than good to you, man. Pursuing things in this world will really harm you more than it'll uh, satisfy you, man. You know? And that, and that's and that's what we gotta uh that's 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 what we gotta keep in mind. This, this is why we got to understand we're not missing nothing because really we're helping ourselves more than we're hurting ourselves. Really, the suffering is beneficial for us. Our suffering is beneficial for us. We don't need to be partake. We don't need to be partaking in uh, this place, man. You know, it's, it, it'll destroy us more than it'll help us. You know, this was this, this place wasn't created for uh, our people, man. This wasn't created. This world wasn't this life wasn't created for our people. You know, it wasn't this world wasn't created for our people man you know we're 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 a regal people man we desire different type of things man you know 
yeah, we have taste and we like possessions, but that's not what our uh, desire is supposed to. That's not what Yahweh Shimashah wanted us to uh, be focused on. You know, it's supposed to be a nation of kings and priests, man, judges, man, you know, princesses, man, you know, those who desire a uh, different type of uh, things, man, outside of, you know, what the Gentiles seek after, like it says in Matthew the sixth chapter. Let's go here to uh, Luke 12 and I'm going to wrap it up. This Luke chapter 12, verse 15, it says, and he said unto him, unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness, you know, which covetousness is always wanting something, you know, it says, it says, for a man's life consists of not in the abundance of things which he possesses. So, it don't, your life doesn't consist. That's not what our life consists in, you know, getting different type of uh, possessions or, you know, uh, you know, getting different type of uh, desires. It says, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, what shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take these, take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. So that's like the average uh, person in this world and this life's mindset. Like, oh, I'm going to just, I'm going to attain a whole bunch of things. And then, you know, uh, I'm going to just be able to be happy with all the things that I attained, you know, and. And live good off of what I've attained, you know. It says, it says, but Yahweh Bashem Yahusha said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul should be required of thee. Then whose shall those things which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. You know, and that's so you can attain a lot of things, you can attain a whole bunch of more than you can even like bear, you know, but uh, you can't attain Yahweh Shem Yahusha through that, man. You know, you can't attain, you can't obtain life. You know, Yahweh Shem Yahusha is the only one who can give us life, man. These different things that we possess, they can't give us life. That that just gives us death. You know, different things that we desire, they can't give us life, man. You know, Yahweh Shem Yahusha, that's what can give us life. You know, so that's what we're supposed to be constantly focused on, man. You know. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, I pray for the spirit of Prophet Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. It was. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakaq Wadash. Double honor to the apostle and elders of Ruwa. And peace of salutations to the house of David, the late man, pushing his faith and truth sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakaq Wadash, Baraka Thumb. To all you sincere listeners who may have tuned into this, and all you sincere uh, Israelites uh, throughout our nation. You know, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Baraka Thumb to all you. Shalom.